Okay, folks, this is how I'm being hounded down by this woman with a dog. Every time I go out, she's following me with a dog. And as you can see, they would come to my doorstep with their dog. Come to my doorstep with her dog all the time. That's how they follow me and they hound me with their dog. But she think, I have a, she, she truly think I'm afraid of her, but she doesn't have any power. She has, when I came, when I first came to this place, these people would come to their door, to my door, to my door, and, 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 and with a chime, chime or whatever they use. And they would enter my body with their dog. And for the longest time, I did not know why they were coming to my door until the Lord showed me that they were coming to my door to enter my body with the dog. So now they can enter my body no more. But those witches, those wizards, they don't give up. They don't give up, you know. They have. They will not, not give up. They will not give up. They will not give up. They come to my. They come to my workplace. They come to the workplace, folks. And I tell you, no man, no man, should be hounded down. No man should be tormented like these people have tormented me with their dog. But today, I waited for her to see me. That I'm waiting for her to, because I knew she was coming in for dog. I waited for her. So now she see me, she stand up on the stairs because she doesn't have anywhere to go with her dog. Because I'm standing waiting for her with her dog. Waiting for her with her dog. And folks, when that was not enough, these people tormented me like this. When that was not enough, these people stood at the counter where I work. Every day, all of them. It, when that's not enough, Sunday, seven of them or seven, seven or, or t up to ten of them came to the store together. And you know where they had to be? At my counter. All together. Because it's Halloween. They are desperate. They were desperate for meat, desperate for flesh, desperate for death. That's what they are. That's what they are. And they think, I will, I, Alexandra, could never be afraid of no other man. Because I stand by the blood of Jesus Christ. I stand by the will of God. They have no power over me. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. And folks, as you can see, look at my shadow. <laughs> I'm like a man on stilt with my shadow. Anyway, this woman, this woman just saw me. This, this woman just provoked me this morning, you know. For one moment there, she provoked me. She provoked me. For one moment there, I became angry that she's following me for dog. She's following me for dog. But you have to know that. I'm not afraid of her or her dog. No more. Not anymore. Not anymore. They will see me like that tree that is planted by the river that they cannot climb. And anyway, folks, <laughs> I'm going to work. Huh? I'm going to work. Yes, 10 o'clock work. And then you see when they're not satisfied. If I work and I finish work 9 o'clock, 9 p.m., they are waiting for me with their dog. 10 p.m. They are waiting for me with their dog. I finish work 2 p.m. They are waiting for me with their dog. I leave at 10 o'clock in the morning. They are waiting for me with their dog. 8 o'clock I leave. They are waiting for me with their dog. There's no matter where I go. They are waiting. They even wait for me at the entrance of the, the building that I work in. And, uh, and I know they will be there waiting. But because I try to respect where I work, not that they respect me. None of them has respected me in this place. Not manager, not manager's woman. None of them has respected me in this place. 
they have hounded me down. They have hounded me down looking for ways. Looking for ways to, to, to cast me out like a dog. To, to make an outcast of me. As they did in the last job. But I'm waiting for them. I'm waiting for them. Anyway, folks. This is it. I'm here. Right at the place there. And you can see. Look. Look, another one. Another one. There.